Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Today we're going to be in John chapter 7. I'm going to read verses 3 through 5. It reads, so his brothers, and his brothers here are Jesus's half-brothers, they said to him, leave here and go down to Judea so that your disciples also may see the works that you're doing. For no one does these works in secret if he seeks to be known openly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For not even his brothers believed in him. So here's the context of this uh, text today. Uh, there's an annual gathering down in Jerusalem, or rather up to Jerusalem, that's happening in, in just a couple of days. And Jesus knows that if he goes there announced or publicly, this might put his life and present ministry at risk. So he has decided to not go publicly, as we're going to see a little bit later. He's going to go in secret. But no one at this point knows that. But here today, notice uh, his brothers, and notice how they respond. They're daring him a bit, as a brother would do, and his brothers are pushing him to make a big show of himself, primarily because they don't believe that he's the Messiah. At least that's what John in the narrative tells us. Now, I want to pause to note that the Bible teaches that Jesus was born supernaturally, uh, through a virgin named Mary. And Mary did eventually conceive a marriage to a man named Joseph. And then Mary and Joseph then had four uh, additional sons, if you want to think of it that way. They were James, Joseph, or Joseph Jr., Simon, and Jude. Now, we know these men as Jesus's half-brothers, or the sons of Joseph. And at this moment in the story, we see that the half-brothers are still very skeptical about who Jesus is. But all that's eventually going to change as we see the story progress. Two of these men, James and Jude, would eventually write letters of the New Testament, by the way, proclaiming their faith in Jesus <laughs> as the Messiah. And James would become a very significant leader in the church at Jerusalem. Now, here's what jumps out at me about this notation in the text today by John. Uh, Jesus was always discerning always discerning the tension between what God wanted and what man wanted. In this case, it happened to be his own half-brothers that were trying to lead him down a path that could potentially be harmful for him. And yet I know this. For each of us as men, we encounter challenges like this all the time. Sometimes, sometimes people in our life, very well-intentioned or not, are going to lead us down a path of disobedience to God in an effort to get us to do something that would either intentionally or unintentionally lead us to some form of harm. And as we cross these paths, we need to be sensitive to the Spirit and to God's leading <laughs> enough that we can actually say no to them and yes to Jesus. So here's what I want you to do today. Turn up your spiritual attentiveness quite a bit today. Pay attention to the persuasions of those around you, even close friends and family. And if they try to persuade you toward any hint of disobedience, do the right thing. Be obedient to God, even if it risks the relationship, because you never know. Your decision for obedience today could affect their obedience down the road. It could have the same effect as Jesus. How about that? Isn't that cool how that works? I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this devotional day. Share it with your buds, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.